uh, can we interest you in some cookies? I'd be delighted. I will take two boxes. So, Frank. Here you go. Away. Aren't you the most adorable little girl I've ever seen? Are you all right? Yes, darling. You can run along now. Some water, something to eat. I can have somebody get you something. You a God fearing man, buddy. You've been to church? It can be a hard commitment trying to make ends meet what with a newborn baby, right? I wasn't very religious myself growing up, but uh, this job has shown me some things, things that uh, I can't erase from my mind. And they've been burned into my soul forever. I have to admit, there have been some moments when I wasn't sure I'd be able to go on, but then my faith carries me through. You ever have moments like that? You feel like right now might be one of those moments. Well, I sure am sorry about this. I mean, breaking and entering, that's one thing, but murder, damn, that is a whole other story. And I hate to tell you that all signs clearly point to you being the murderer. I want you to help me understand your side. Take your time, deep breaths and all. And tell me what happened. Give me just a minute of your time, sir. Now, remember, I said profit margins were growing last week, right? Well, they didn't stop. Look at this. Success story after success story after success story. I mean, <laughs> the list goes on, man. It's, it's, it's guaranteed money. What was the Lord say, huh? You reap what you sow. All right, you sow into this. I'm telling you, man, you will reap. Uh, you know, that's, that, that's the truth. I, look, I gotta go. You, you give me a call. You, uh, change your mind? All right, okay. 
Hey, baby. Hey. You right? <laughs> oh, she was coughing again this morning. We need to get her into a doctor soon. Yeah, we will. Maybe to wait till after the storm, though. I got some good things in the works. Buddy, we've talked about this. I believe in you, and I know things are going to come through eventually, but we need money now. I know. You're right. Saw a sign out front. They need bussers. I'll do manual labor myself if I can get a sitter no. for Emily. Absolutely not. No, no. I'm going to take care of it. Right, Frank called me today about a fencing job. I guess I got requested, so I'll go down and see if I can get some and cash up for a hunter. Okay. Listen, I've been thinking. Uh, it's been intense lately. I've been stressful. I was just thinking maybe we let your sister watch Emily for a weekend and you know, we have just a little one-on-one -on -one time. Seriously? It's been six months. I know. I'm sorry. And I know you've been patient. Since the baby, I just don't feel... sexy. Just give me a bit more time. Darn. Hey there. I'm here by the fence. Look, somebody called and requested I come, uh, buddy. <laughs> what happened? Can you fix it? Nah, it shouldn't be a problem. Today. Oh, well, today was just supposed to be the estimate. You know, we got a hurricane coming. Just a piece of fence. Not even 1 o'clock yet. We got plenty of time. I'll make it worth your while. Worth my while, huh? What you think? Oh, there he is, Mr. Negotiator all of a sudden. What's it going to cost me? Let's see. You got to replace this whole part. All right, so, I mean, that's probably... What, seven feet? That's about 10 bucks post. Tax, you're looking at around 100, so all in, I'd say uh, 200 would be safe. Well, you get it done today, I'll give you 250. 300? 240, final offer. Damn. I want it done today. Where were you stationed? First Battalion, 10th Marines, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Gunslingers, right? How'd you know that? Navy man. Just got back. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, I know they call you all squids, but you look more like a tadpole than me. Well, they call you Marines again? You call me a jarhead. You watch what happens. <laughs> well, I'm just fucking with you. Get to work. The way you wear your hat, the way you sip your tea, the memory of all that. No, they can't take that away from me. The way your smile just beams. The way you sing off key. <laughs> the way you haunt my dreams. No, 
They can't take that away from me. Happy anniversary, baby. What are you doing? What does it look like? All these years, I still don't mean that much to you. Oh, shit. Uh, baby doll. I don't want to hear it. I messed up. Uh. I think I put this on you. I apologize, OK? I don't want it. I love you the same so much every day. I don't know why one day has to be more important than all the rest of them. Because it is the day our love merged and was forever united. I don't know why. Every year, I think, maybe, maybe this year, Walter will come to a deeper understanding. I'm sorry. I don't know what else I can say or do. Why don't you do what a man's supposed to do? What is that exactly? Paint the house. Mow the lawn. Make love to me like a real man. Instead of sitting on your lazy ass and getting drunk all day. Push me once, and I can let it go. Push me twice, I might react. Do it. Go on. Hurt me, Walter. Hurt me real bad. Let's see if you got the ball. I knew it. You simply lack what it takes to follow through. You look like you're about to pass out. No, ma'am, I'm, I'm good. Who are you calling ma'am? I'm very sorry, uh, uh, Mrs. Fancy. Sure for Francine Mae Franklin. Your name? Buddy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mm. You want some? Nice tea. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice, actually. 
Seems kind of dumb to try and fix a fence right before a hurricane comes, but that's my idiot husband for you. That's all right. I, I like to finish what I start. Huh. You live far from here? Right on the other side of town. Yeah, I can make it home if I hurry. I always love to come before the storm. Birds are smart. Why's that? Oh, they leave before it arrives. They can sense the danger. Well, thank you very much. I should probably get back to it. You're very welcome. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, ma'am, I'm fine, I'm fine. Come on, let me see. It's all right, I promise. I'm good. Oh. Come on inside. We'll get y'all cleaned up. I appreciate that, but I, I really got to finish up here and get home. I'm not asking. But I, I can I can do that. No guest of mine will not be attended to by the queen of this house. Are you the queen of this house? No, I'm not. Exactly. Let me see. All better. Out here? I hurt my hand. Did you now? I'm, a, I'm trying to finish up. You just can't help yourself, can you? Oh, I'm sorry. Does that bother you? Doesn't bother me one bit. Are you kidding me? Huh? What the fuck's the matter with you, asshole? There you are. Hey, uh, so I'm, I'm real sorry if I wasn't able to finish. Uh, I can come back early next week, wrap it up. 
It's gonna be a hundred then. You didn't live up to your end of the bargain. Come on, man. It started raining out there. It's not my fault. Looks like the good Lord doesn't want you to make extra money. It's gonna hurt. Fine. Well, thank you uh, for the iced tea and the, the Band-Aid. Oh, you're very welcome. How would you like to stay for dinner? Oh, that's uh, very kind of you, but um, well, actually, my, my daughter's a little under the weather. My wife's at home taking care of her, so I should you know, make sure they're all right in the storm. Of course. You hear that, Walt? This man actually cares for his family. Outstanding. Truck wouldn't start. Uh, yeah. I mean, no. Is it yes or no? No. Now, had you ever met the Franklins before that day? I've seen Walt around town a few times. I spoke to him. Okay. Robbed a liquor store with a spray-painted BB gun. Yeah. My dad needed his booze, and I wasn't prepared to take another ass whooping. You ever wonder what you might have done if the store clerk had refused your demands? Never thought about it. Looks like I just hit a nerve. I didn't mean to. I'm just trying to find out the old type of guy who secretly likes hurting other people. Are you that kind of guy, buddy? No, I'm not. You seem to be forgetting I'm trying to help you. But I need you to help me in return. Now, if you are a God-fearing man like I am, you also know that God can forgive you. The question is, can you forgive yourself for what you did? I didn't do anything. So you went back inside. What is it, Tadpole? Can't swim? My, uh, my truck won't start. If, if I left my equipment in my truck here, can I use your car to go home? I, I gotta check on my family. What do you think I'll let you pull some backdoor trade and leave me with a beat up truck while you steal my Mach 1 Mustang? <laughs> backdoor trade, man. You, you best get comfy. Look, I, I gotta call my wife. I use your phone. Be my guest.
start raining. <laughs> Damn it, buddy. You shouldn't have waited so long to try and leave. Now you can't even call a cab. Yeah, I can't leave. How's that one? Still coughing? Missing you. Listen, uh, um, stay away from the windows. You know, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'll be home as soon as I can. Great. You just stay there nice and cozy at some stranger's house. We'll be fine on our own. Happiness? Come on, have some wine, relax. Let's go out. I, I don't really drink. We got a hurricane coming. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> All right. Semper Fi. How's the meatloaf? Really great. Mm. Uh, how'd you do me? You don't want to hear about any of that. We met shortly after Walt came back from now. I was singing in a club in New Orleans. Jazz singer. Walt came in to watch. He was an alluring mix of strength and courage, hope. How times have changed. Did you meet your wife? Uh, well, we uh, met in sixth grade. And I, I knew right then she was one. And got married when we graduated high school. That's beautiful. What's so beautiful about it? Poor bastard's only gonna sleep with one woman for the rest of his life. If he doesn't get divorced before he turns 30. How long you two been married? Fifteen years tonight. Mm. But we've known each other way, way, way longer. Seems like a lifetime. Multiple lifetimes. Buddy, how would you like a mint julep? It's my great grandmother's recipe. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Looks like it's just me and you. You a football fan? Or a baseball guy? Mm -hmm. Makes sense, you like a soft sport. You know, ever since the NFL strike, it's been nothing but lies and deception. You, you, you know about deception, don't you? Not sure I follow. I mean, I can tell you're having problems at home. Now, an example. Uh, when was the last time you had your uh, cock uh, sucked? Excuse me? That long, huh? Hey, guys. You know what else I can tell? What's that? I can tell you want to fuck my wife. What? What I mean? Oh, buddy here was just telling me how lonely he is. Appears he and his wife haven't been able to spend any quality time together. I never said that. Oh, yeah. well, must be out of her mind if she doesn't know how to take care of you. 
Yeah. She treats me fine. You are a smart, fine, well-spoken young man. She can't see that, but shame on her. <laughs> How's that julep taste? I'm gonna go check on Walt. There are still no updates tonight on the disappearance of local teenager Jeff Gooday, who is the fourth local teenager to go missing recently. So far, the Sheriff's Department have no leads on any missing children and no reason to believe that these cases are linked. Stay tuned to Grand Isle News for updates on all local news. And now, the weather. How about I give you a tour of the house? Oh, it's all right. I, I was just gonna... This is obviously Walter's favorite room. This house has been in my family for over 150 years. My great-great-grandfather was a big-time real estate man. My grandparents love this house. Sometimes, I think I can feel their presence. And here, we used to entertain over half the city throwing parties like you wouldn't believe. Not anymore. Well, you already know the kitchen. What's in here? Bad things, buddy. Real bad things. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> that just leads down to the basement. There's nothing down there but storage. Come on, let's go upstairs. This is my favorite room in the house. Come on in. You can have a seat here. I'm gonna change into something more comfortable. Despite all this rain coming down, it is still so damn hot. Is it true that your wife don't treat you right? <laughs> no, no, she's she good. She, um, it's you know, it's just just what? I I uh, just it sends Emily uh, connected like we used to. But, you know, it's just it built up distance. Well, I understand how my child changes everything. Ever since I was a little girl, I have always wanted a huge family of my very own. Did you and Ed and Walter have, have kids? The Lord didn't grant me the ability. I can't have them. Medically. I always have a measure. Walter and I have had to make some hard choices. Does your wife have a job? I know. Just the young. 
It's unfortunate she doesn't realize what she had. We'll f figure it out. What about the sweet touch of love? We ain't got nothing. Have you ever been with another woman? Oh, that's a bit personal. Well then, let me rephrase the question. Have you ever been with an old woman? Have you ever fantasized about it? I've never been with a younger man. I've never had the opportunity. But I have fantasized about it. Many times. You know what I do to myself when I fantasize? Could probably guess. Hmm. Can I tell you my young boy fantasy? If you'd like. Well. He walks me into a luscious garden filled with flowers. And then he kisses me real soft like on the lips. And then he kisses my neck. And then my breasts. And then my stomach. And he's down on his knees. Right in front of me. And then he starts kissing my thighs. Should I keep going? Uh, uh, okay. And then he opens my legs. He's gone. You're crazy. Residents are advised to stay indoors and away from any windows. We have received reports that many roads and bridges are completely flooded. The governor has declared a state of emergency and the National Guard has been dispatched to assist local officials with rescue and recovery procedures. The sheriff's office has asked residents to remain safe.
Hey. What's up? I thought we might get a drink. Have a little talk. Take a seat. That one. <clears throat> you ever You ever think about your own death? Not lately. I think about mine every day. Forces me to have gratitude. That's something you don't know about. I'm grateful. You've got a beautiful young wife and daughter at home. You're messing it all up. Besides, people only know gratitude when they're faced with life and death choices. That's the real tragedy of life. Unappreciation. <laughs> so what do you see on the Joseph stock? How'd you know it was on that ship? You think I just invite anybody into my home. We all watch it on the news. You saw some shit, didn't you, Mr. Action Jackson? My career in Nam began and ended when I was 17. Bullshit ass reason. I'm caught. Shrapnel in my left knee from friendly fire. I was all set to go out on my first mission and some jackass boot wasn't paying attention to let his grenade go off during the drill. And I was the only motherfucker who got hurt. Everybody else went out on mission the next day and I got sent home. I protested, I asked to go back. They won't have it. It sucks. Two weeks later, my entire squad, every single one of them, got killed on mission just south of Da Nang. And I should have been there. I should have died with them. Go out in a blaze of bullets. Pow. <sighs> so what'd you see? Yeah, uh... Are you gonna tell me like we're old friends or am I gonna have to force it out of you? Come on. You saw the news. On the 17th of May, the rocket bomber dropped a couple missiles and it penetrated the hole. Ignited the fuel lines and this spread quickly throughout. 37 dead. Including my buddy Carl. I tried to help him, but yeah, I mean, it, uh, his body burned beyond recognition.
What did the United States military offer you in return for your service? Nothing. Heck shit. They told us we were the important ones when they shipped us off to war. Made us feel like somebody. And then when we returned, they spat on us and called us scumbag filth. This entire system is programmed for the American youth to die so that the blubbery old Washington fat cats can stay rich. That's all right. That's OK. Because this here, me and you, this is the destiny. Why's that? Twenty thousand dollars. Why are you showing it to me? That's what I'm gonna pay you to kill my wife. <laughs> Got a weird sense of humor, man. Six months ago, she was diagnosed with terminal blood cancer. And there ain't no coming back from that. She's about to start suffering real bad. But you wouldn't believe that. I, I just, I do it myself, but I haven't got the heart. I'll make it real easy for you. Cyanide. You just cover her mouth with it and she'll be gone in minutes. You just. $20,000. Take care of all your problems, including your sick kid. $20,000. Set up your future real nice. Make your old lady real happy. Please, I just, I can't bear to watch you suffer. I love it too damn much. Even though she does drive me insane. Insane. I know you got this in you. I've been watching you. Let us do something for each other. The way the military did. Soldier to soldier. $20,000. All yours.
Ever heard a song? Strain fruit, Billy Holiday. That song was banned for us, racial provocation against lynching. Ironically, it was written by a white man. You're gonna just stand there like a tree in the woods. Fine. Suit yourself. You see this? When I was a little girl, if I so much as sneezed at the dinner table, my mama would pick up her fork and stab you with it. Oh, what messed up childhoods. What was yours like? Doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Why? Because I want to know. Oh, I can see you're sad now. How you sad? Oh, yeah? Yeah. We can judge you if you want us. My dad blamed us for it. Turned himself into a coma. Literally, still in the hospital. Yeah. I must to say. What about you? Why are you so sad? Is what it is. With her husband in the next room thinking you were gonna kill her. You expect me to believe you didn't commit murder? With morals like that. I know. Stupidest shit I've ever done in my life. All right, I get that. But it's been six months since my wife and I... And Fancy... She's crazy. All right, but, but she is sexier than hell. Soft me up with all that emotional shit and... I guess I just always had a taste for danger. <laughs> That's not dangerous, son. That's a death wish. Felt bad for her. Because of her illness? No, something else. Like she, uh, has this hole in her, and she can't feel it. Just let it go. You let it go, you set yourself free from this wicked burden of guilt and shame you got locked up inside you. It's okay. Let it go. I didn't do anything. You won't go online to yourself over and over again. That's fine by me. I got all day. 
You don't get it. At this point, I was just trying to figure out a way to survive the night. Just how'd you do that? Hitting them against each other. What do we have here? It's so, uh you're not you're not like, like sick, right? Sick? Yeah, like like blood cancer? No. Well, why would you say that? What the hell did he tell you? He asked me to kill you. I think you and I need to come to a new place of understanding with each other. What does that mean? Well, that means we're living in the past. Now we got all this anger and resentment with each other. You love me. <laughs> I truly believe that. Let's just try and let all that go. How? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. I've been hard on you. And I just don't have the energy to fight anymore, baby. You and I, we get so angry, we start saying things we don't really mean. Yeah. I guess so. I'm tired, baby. I can't keep up with all this wretched bitterness anymore. I want things to be the way they were. Me too. I got nothing but love for you, my beautiful man. Is that poison? We still got this right to my mouth. What the fuck are you waiting for? Take it out. Open it up. Okay. Throw it on the rack. Pour it on the rack! Cover her mouth with it. She just told her a second ago you loved her. Cover her mouth! Since you've been married for 15 years, man. Think about that. Cover her mouth!
kick my ass. A worthy warrior. Shoot me. Slay me. I'm ready. I ain't gonna happen, Jarhead. You all right? My head's pounding. Shape now. Just take it easy. Look, uh, I think I'd rather be in a hurricane than this shit, so, uh, where are the keys? Take me with you. I can't stay either. Please, let's just go somewhere, you and me. <laughs> you two don't run off together? <laughs> go ahead and take her. It. It's all yours. I'll tell you this. You got a dark side. Darker than hell. Shut your mouth. If you love him so much, why don't you tell him? What's he talking about? <laughs> I bet he just loves to hear all about your dirty little secret. What's he going on about? Nothing, honey. Just help me out. <sighs> What are you doing? Just take me right here. Right here in front of you. Let's make this son of a bitch squirm. I look him right in the eyes while you make me come. No, 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 stop. He's a monster. You know that, you've seen it. You cannot leave me here with him. I'm taking an even 200 for the fence, asshole. It ain't finished. Yeah, well. Figured I earned it putting up with your bullshit. Hey, soldier. You better kill me now. So I'll be coming for you. That's a promise. You and your whole family. Where are the car keys? Hey, right. I got it. Yeah. Before you two lovebirds escape reality and together, there's something you should know, buddy. You like dangerous things, don't you? Have a look in our basement. You're gonna love it. What's down there? <laughs> You're gonna love it! <laughs> yeah! Well, let's just go. No. Ready in my pocket. Come and get him. See for yourself what kind of woman you want to run over. You think I got a dark side? You have no idea. <laughs> down there to... and please don't let him toy with your mind like this you're smarter than that what are you hiding nothing now come on you're gonna go me Get that little fuck, that little shit weasel fuck. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who kept running your mouth about secrets. Yeah. <clears throat> did, did you have to stab me so hard? Sorry. 
He didn't go in the basement, did he? No. All right, uh, light, light some candles.
talk to a lawyer. Uh, I, I, want, I, I want my phone call. What you think this is, New York? D.C.? Y'all in Grand Isle, son. We don't subscribe to that big city nonsense. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. You know, well, the power is out. It seemed our poor little suspect, he just couldn't make his phone call. He was just a boy with a family you ripped him away from. I didn't. Will you, will you just send an officer to check out that basement? You will find some crazy, horrendous shit. I put my life on it. Why are you so fascinated with that basement? The way they were talking about it. Who puts three bolt locks on a basement door, has a kid hooked up to an IV clutching a rag with, with Chinese or, or, or Japanese letters on it? Well, no, now you're just making shit up. You know what? I've been patient. I've been kind. But I'm done. Here's my take on it, you lying little motherfucker. While you were in service, you developed a taste for violence. You came home, you found you a girl, you had a kid. But that domestic life wasn't what you'd hoped for. Then you bumped into an ex-Marine who pissed you off. You boned his wife, and then you killed a teenager who just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't know. As I see it, there ain't nothing in the way of you frying in the electric chair. I'm innocent. Oh, you gonna confess your sins to me, one way or another. What? His wife is here. Well, let's show her in. In here? Sure, why not? Sure, she's gonna wanna have a chance to give him a piece of her mind. Yeah. Come in and talk to your husband. Find out what he's been up to. when you didn't come home. What in the hell happened to you? Some kids did and they think I did it. You? Up for murder? I didn't do it. I swear, you have to believe me. I mean, you know me. I don't know what to believe. What are they telling me about some woman named Fancy? Buddy, do you know her? Do you know her? Why did that officer tell me you... you had an affair with her? Baby. What has happened? I love you, and uh, I will explain all this, all right? I promise. But right now, you gotta help me get out of here. They're gonna kill me for Christ's sake. If I may, sir, I, I think you may be onto something. What you talking about? It's probably nothing, but uh, I remember seeing a newspaper headline with a picture of a teenage girl, uh, Monica Fujima. She was wearing a red silk dress with Japanese writing on it. She's still missing, sir. Oh, I bet. Bring that file with you. Lisa, Lisa, wait. Is this what you saw? Yeah. You're thousand percent sure? Get Judge Warren on the phone. We're gonna need a search warrant. Can I go home? Not just yet.
Good day, officers. What can I do for you? This here is a search warrant. We have reason to believe that you might be performing illegal activities. Illegal activities? What happened in your face? Oh, I'll tell you. It was powering out during the hurricane, tripped over the stairs, landed right on my face, cut my hand on a broken window. It was a rough night. Well, please, by all means, come, come on in. Have a look. All right, go ahead and search the place. Officer Garrett and I will keep the Franklins company. Oh, I, I believe you might know my wife, uh, Fancy. Good morning, officers. Now, can I offer you some iced tea? No, ma'am, but we appreciate your hospitality. I don't imagine bourbon's appropriate. <laughs> Keep an eye on them. Was in. You want to go to jail? Is that what you want? No, but you are not dragging me into this twisted shit of yours. Wanted to expand our family, Mrs. on. Lost for my cat is stuck up in the tree. Would you shoot him down for me? What? I said what? my cat is stuck up in a tree. Would you shoot him down for me? Too? For the gotcha there, at least you do is tell me what you found. A nightmare. Go on home. What are you doing? 
doing? Going to my sister's. Come on now, let's talk about this. Don't call me. Please, please don't. It's been two weeks since Grand Isle suffered the area's worst hurricane in 17 years, with millions of dollars of damage caused to businesses and countless homes destroyed. Some people are still unaccounted for, but emergency services are doing their best to reach those in need. And in other news, the manhunt continues for Walter Franklin, the main suspect accused of the recent teenage abductions. How are you holding up, buddy? Miss my girls. Time heals all wounds. Yeah, that is what they say. Dad, Paul! Call the cops. <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? You excited? I think I've been on the other side of that. Oh? Been thinking about your own death, huh? Sure have. Outstanding, soldier. What conclusions have you drawn? Every day away from my wife and my child is its own sort of hell. Kind of like waking up every morning Knowing if you were overseas with your squad, maybe you could have helped save them? Walter. I understand what you're going through, all right? Tell me, how do you relate? Don't do this now, all right? Let her go. No, 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 no. You exposed our little secret. Now it's your turn. I don't have any secrets. Something on that ship, wasn't it? I said, tried to help out my friend Carl. That was a lie. I saw him burning up on the ground, writhing around, and, and... I ran. You actually got tested and proved to yourself that you're a coward. Shit. Just when I thought we might have had something in common. I guess not. All right, get over here, Tadpole.
Walt. What you aiming for here? I have a demand. Go ahead. Where's my baby girl? Where's Fancy? I want her released. They put her in a lockdown mental facility. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't get her released. Well then, you best get ready. Shit's about to get ugly. Now hold on, Walter. What would y'all fellow Marines say? You think they'd condone this? Fuck yeah, they would. This here is a sacrifice against a system that doesn't give a shit about me or my fellow Marines. Oh, hell, we could talk this out over a beer. Please let Buddy and his family go. I'm done talking, George. And I sure as hell am done drinking. Walter P. Franklin of the 1st Battalion, 10th Marines. Walter, don't. Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Walter, don't do it. Gunslingers, son of a Get down, get down, get down, get down! Get down. We got a lot to work on. I get that. Maybe let's just take things one day at a time. I see.
Swim for the shallows to find yourself drowning, stuck in the mud all alone. Thought you gone cold, oh, still and bruised, and your legs don't work anymore. Try to run, forgotten how to move, still going, going. Kept you shown for some reason, don't cut it anymore. 